Hey guys, Anwar Steph here. Uh, quick tutorial today on the iPad SDK. Uh, it's the first SDK iPad SDK tutorial that I'm doing. It is on UI popover view controllers. Now, basically, what that is is you press a button, and anywhere on the screen that you set it, a little XIB window comes up with whatever XIB content you have in there. So it's very simple to use. You have all your elements inside that XIB, and then when you tap out, it just normally just fades away. And it is very helpful for any universal application, so um, you'll probably use it a lot. I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. So go ahead and create a new project. Make sure the product is iPad, view-based application, and name it UI Popover. Alright, first thing you want to do is go into your interface builder and go into a UI Popover view controller you'll get this big screen uh... down you wanna turn it landscape just for this tutorial make sure the status bar is unspecified actually you know what actually keep it black and then down here you wanna add a UI rect or UI button and call it pop over Make sure you center it along the blue lines. Go back into your project and go to your classes and go to the popoverviewcontroller.h and type in a IB action of popover. Save. Go back into your interface builder. On your document, click the files owner. Go to the connections tab, the blue arrow and select the popover action and drag it right on to popover come down here to touch up inside you are all set in interface builder if you want to add anything else you can and save and go ahead and just close that now you want to add a new xib file you can do that by going up to file new file go to the iphone os user interface Product, select iPhone for the view XIB. Next, and save it as second view. Should add it to the view. Now go ahead and open it in Interface Builder. On under status bar, go ahead and do unspecified. Go over to the view size and change 460 to 330 by 300. Just like that. Now you can add whatever you want in here. So I'm going to go add a label that says this is the UI popover. Make that big. And just add whatever I want into it. And go ahead and save. Make sure you go into your finals owner your identity tab and under class do second view controller and then do file write class files second view controller create h file also add it to the project and there we go now take these two and drag it into your classes under the second view controller dot h where you have this comment block right here just go ahead and remove it oops remove it all and type in UI view controller save go back into interface builder select your files owner go to the connections tab and under the view outlet go ahead and drag it onto the view very simple save and quit now under the second view view controller no 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 okay uh, UI popover view controller dot m under all this implementation uh, you want to go ahead and do IB action pop over and add this block of code. I'll tell you what each one means. UI pop over controller asterisk pop over equals start bracket start bracket UI pop over view controller alloc in it with content view controller second view and we'll tell you what that is 
pop over uh, set delegate equals self pop over present from pop over rect cg rect make 801-4013-2300 and it would in view self dot view permitted error directions UI pop over error direction down uh, this is where there's a little arrow that connects the um, view to where you pressed and you can do it from up down left or right or whatever animated yes so there's a little animation when you click on it UI pop over content <laughs> size um, it's 320 by 300 which is exactly what we made and right here you want to import your second view second view controller.h I forgot one line of code right above it before you I pop over controller you need to do second view controller and asterisk second view equals start bracket start bracket second view alloc and bracket in it and bracket and this is setting the delegate for that also make sure I got a build error that you change this to second view controller my bad I only put second view change bool should auto rotate interface to orientation just simply re replace yes with interface orientation is equal to UI interface orientation landscape right and that will be able to make it into a landscape format you can save go back and go into your resources folder real fast your info.plist and over here add one that says UI interface orientation and then it comes up initial interface orientation and make sure you select landscape right home button you are now done here go ahead and save and make sure it's on the simulator and build and run you should now see your iPhone simulator if you want you could bring the scale up to 100 percent and that will bring it up here let me see hi and then pop over brings up this. It says this is the UI popover. You can exit, bring it out again, keep pressing it, and do whatever you want. You could add actions to it since it's its own IB uh, out you could add your own outlets to it since you, it's its own interface builder file, your XIB, you can do whatever you want. So that is how you use a UI popover view controller. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.